Hello! Here is another little quick video tutorial from me um, for you to get you started on the second assignment that you will have due this week. Um, it's called the March 25th Excel Practice Formulas. So I'll go ahead and click on that link and you can see I've given you instructions. Make sure that you save the spreadsheet to your computer. You're going to add formulas to the shaded cells and you will have to decide if you're adding, subtracting, dividing, or multiplying just depends on what formula you need. You need to be sure to format the shaded shells, cells accordingly. Um, if they deal with money, then they should be formatted to currency or accounting. If they're just plain numbers, then you just leave them as gem, general or number in terms of the format. And if they're percentages, you need to make sure to format them to percentages. And again, when you're finished, make sure that you click that navy blue turn in button to submit your assignment. I have referenced some tutorials again from our tutorial site, as I said I would. Um, cell basics, just showing you how to work with the cells. Number formats, how to work with formatting those cells if you don't catch everything in this little video. And then just an introduction to formulas and how to be able to work with them. I will post this video link here as soon as I'm finished with it. And you can also refer to the Excel formulas handout. So first of all, if I just um, pull that handout up for you. Um, all I did was I put some information into a handout that will explain to you some of the basic formulas that we're utilizing and how we write them. Notice that you know you use addition, subtraction, um, the forward slash for division, and the asterisk which is on your 8 key. If you do shift and 8 you'll get the asterisk for multiplication. And so I just wanted to point those basics out to you for now. Um, that's really all you have to worry about in that handout. Um, but we'll go ahead and click on the assignment. So we'll click on the Excel Formulas Practice 2020 worksheet and we'll open it up. You'll want to click on Enable Editing. And then again, I would recommend doing a file and a save as. And wherever you're going to save it to, um, again, as always, I'll save it to my desktop. And I'm going to put my initials after it, just so I know that it's mine. And then go ahead and click Save. So now you should be ready to work with your spreadsheet. And you're going to notice that in this workbook with this spreadsheet, I have some pink shaded cells. And so your task is going to be to create a formula that will fill in those pink shaded cells. So just to give you an example, if we go to this very first one, um, we're doing multiple tasks in this first sheet, so it's probably a good one, a good box to start with. So I can see I have quantity, I have price, and then I have a total cost. So if I want to know what the total is, if I have three items at $15.99, what's my total? Hopefully you would say we're going to multiply. Well, we don't just write the, the number or the answer in the cell. We want to make sure that we double click in there to get the insertion point and all formulas start with an equal sign. So we do equals and what is it that we're adding? Well, we're adding the value that's in cell A2. So you can click on it and it will write that for you. And then we're multiplying. So shift and your eight key. We'll put the asterisk in there. And what are we multiplying by? We're multiplying by the 1599. So I can click and it puts cell B2 in there. Then all I have to do is press enter and I have my answer of 4797. So then I can click on that and I can fill that down to the next three cells. And what that does is it fills in the formula for you. So if you want to see that, you can do what's called reveal my formulas or reveal your formulas. You press down on the control key and you press down on the key that's next to your number one key. It looks like it's got an accent mark on the bottom and a little wavy tilde sign on the top. So if you control click on that, it reveals for you your formulas and it shows you that it filled it down so you didn't have to. So then press the control key and tilde or grave accent mark again to get back into your spreadsheet. So now we need to do another formula. If I click on subtotal, that means that I need to add these up. So I have a nice feature on my toolbar under the Home tab. If I come over here to this Greek E and I click the drop down, I see Sum. 
So I can click on sum and it's going to highlight for me the range of cells. Now if for some reason it doesn't pick the correct range of cells, all you have to do is left click and drag with your white mouse pointer to choose the range of cells. So I do want to add C2 plus C3 plus C4 and that's what this tells me. It starts with C2, the colon means through, so it's going to go through C4 to add those up and I simply press enter. To figure the tax due, it tells me tax is 6%. So in order to figure the tax due, I need to go in and I need to multiply my subtotal by 6% so that I can figure out how much tax I owe. So to do that, um, I'm going to come down into this cell and double click to get the insertion point. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to click on that cell and then I'm going to come click down next to C5 and type multiply and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.06 because this cell is not in any sort of number format it's just looking at it as text so I have to convert that to a 0 0.06 for 6 percent and I press enter and it gives me my tax due and then the final step would be to add these together so if I click in this cell I can type equals and I can go back to that auto sum button if I want and click sum but then whoops sometimes you have to double click sum <laughs> or single click <laughs> and left click and drag through your cells and then press enter so it writes the formula for you um, so when I'm looking at this I can go back and do control grave accent mark and it shows me the formulas that I wrote. So this is how I will check your work. If you just go in and type a number in there you guys I'm gonna see it. So you need to write the formulas for that and so control tilde or grave, grave accent mark it's the key right next to the number one key on your keyboard that reveals your formulas and then you control tilde again and it takes you back out of your formulas. So I need to work on the formatting of these cells because it's not quite in the right format. So there we're dealing with money, right? We're dealing with currency or accounting. So I'm just going to highlight those cells and up here under the home tab under the number grouping, I have the drop down. So I can click on the drop down and it's either going to be currency Notice if I do currency, it rounds my numbers. It puts a dollar sign tight against the number. Or you could choose the accounting format, which is perfectly acceptable. The only difference is the dollar signs are flush left in the cell. So it doesn't matter to me as long as you have them formatted to money in this particular example. Now as we take a look at this next one, we need to figure out grades here. So these will have to be in percentage format and you can notice two things your percentage format is either here or you can click here and choose percentage style from there um, some people find it easier to do from here this one is also accounting format um, the dollar sign so that's up to you however you want to apply your formatting you just have to select your cells to do that um, talking about sale price that's going to be money talking about number of days you don't do anything to format days. It would just be a plain number. Weight loss, it's just going to be a plain number. Um, here, you're dealing with expenses, so you're dealing with money. So you want to make sure the pink cells are formatted to money. And then down here, this number would be money also. So that's just a quick overview as to what you're going to do with this particular assignment. Um, make sure that you go through and you save often with the assignment. And when you're finished, um, you can go ahead and you can make sure that you close the spreadsheet and you're good to go. So if you have any.